a quick video on how to clean the air filters on the Dominatic uh, Ibis 4. When we first got the RV, no one mentioned about the air filters and when I pulled it out, it was pretty gross, um, to say the least. Um, so there's two little clips on either side, one there and there's one on the other side. You just gotta stick your finger in to pull it out. Um, I'm sure I can see the picture there. But anyway, it's just up in there and I just use a little um, knife or a screwdriver or something to pull it out. But pull that. So this is after one week. Now we do use the um, air conditioner quite a bit. Uh, we either have it on to keep the airflow because the kids sleep up the top. They kind of need some airflow, especially if it's a, a warm day, um, just to keep the air flowing up there so they can have a, a nap in the day and, and things like that. Um, otherwise it can easily get too hot up there even with the insulation roof. And so we usually have it turned on as well as at night time we keep the uh, the heater on and in daytime of course in the cool so it gets used a hell of a lot and so the filter can get dirty very very quick but on the flip side it's obviously taking dirt and crap out of the air um, on that side of things the best device we have in the RV is the um, Dyson I don't know which one it is V8 or something or other uh, vacuum cleaner um, everyone else sweeps out their caravans but the fact that I can just quickly go and vacuum up the floor whenever it gets dirty I and the kids can use it uh, you can get them to just quickly pick it up and vacuum it best device that we've um <laughs> that we've had to be honest um okay and to be honest so the easiest way is i'm not sure i'm gonna do that with the camera is i just vacuum it. bit harder when, with one hand um, but anyway I just use the brushes on the end of the vacuum just to brush back and forth take it off and then pop it back up again uh, I did at least once a week and the catch is it doesn't take long even though it might not seem like there's much there there's quite a considerable restrictive of the airflow and that means the fans in the unit have to work harder in order to push the air through um, or if you actually are using the air conditioner or the heater functionality, then it, that's sort of more effort and energy that's using. And if I'm running the lithium-ion batteries and so forth, and you know, I don't want to do it, have anything that's going to take longer uh, for it to do. Anyway, so that's a quick hint for today.